Brake discs, how and why they can get damaged. Brake discs often need to be replaced much sooner than regular use would allow, that's when and why they fail too soon. Let's see in detail how and why discs can be damaged and when we can talk about wear or defects in the discs. Damaged brake discs. The disc pad contact. In fact, it often happens that brake disc problems originate not from the disc itself but from a chemical physical incompatibility with the pads. Not infrequently also from the presence of abrasive materials, usually dirt and dust. The disc appears contaminated with dark spots, in the first case, or scratched, in the second case. While from the point of view of the feeling under braking there will be a loss of performance accompanied by vibrations in one case and noise in the other. The solution to these drawbacks occurs with the replacement of pads and discs in the first case and only the brake pads in the second. Furthermore, great attention should always be paid to the calipers. If they are mounted incorrectly during braking you will notice a strong vibration and blue spots on the disc due to high temperatures. In this case, it may be necessary to overhaul the caliper and replace the pads. Brake discs damage the tension to assembly. It seems trivial but part of the problems due to defective brake disc actually originates from the incorrect assembly. For example, if an incorrect tightening torque is applied to the bolts or if the tightening sequence is incorrect. In the first case, there is an almost total loss of braking power while in the second case strong vibrations are perceived. This is because the contact surface is distorted. In both cases, it is necessary to replace the discs. If, when replacing the disc, the state of the wheel hub is not checked, eccentricity, then there will be an uneven contact between the disc and pad which will cause localized overheating. In this case, in addition to implementing the strategies already mentioned, it will be necessary to correct the eccentricity of the hub. As for the hub, it is always necessary to observe that there are no rust spots because these can cause the brake discs to be misaligned. Striped brake discs, the operating conditions. Misuse or use in very humid environmental conditions can create many other brake disc problems. As soon as the discs and pads are mounted, it is important to follow the running in procedure correctly i.e. brake moderately in the first 200 kilometers. Otherwise the friction surfaces could overheat and reduce the braking capacity. If you make intensive use of the brakes by continuously braking making the most of the pedal travel, the high temperatures that are generated risk changing the structure of the metal lattice. If this happens, the disc becomes fragile generating vibrations under braking conditions, obtaining poor power. In these cases, it is necessary to replace discs and pads and adopt a correct driving style. If you are going downhill with great slopes try to exploit the engine brake as much as possible. Our advice on brake disc maintenance. Given the amount of technical and safety problems that can be generated by incorrect assembly of the discs, we strongly advise against doing it yourself. We also advise you to buy quality products. Finally, take advantage of the services to have the condition of the discs and pads checked. If during the service it emerges that the wear of the brake discs is accentuated, they should be replaced immediately. You will avoid being in the condition in which the disc no longer guarantees adequate performance and you will save some money on labor if, as it should happen, during the service the wheels are already removed for more detailed checks.